Yo, my bad. So, what's up, everybody? You guys can see today we're working on this thing, and uh, I got a cool little setup today where we got the cameras kind of set up in a way where we could set up, see both angles, right? So you guys can see what I'm working on. You guys can see me if I need to talk. I could also just set it nice and up close. So, yeah. Here we got our Jimi Hendrix kind of halfway sketched out. Alright. And we're going to go ahead and start at the bottom over here. Started at the bottom, now we're here. So, yeah. Can you guys hear me? I hope you guys can hear me. Uh, what's up, Bobby Lipford, Paul Tarchala, how's it going? Alright, so I think you guys can hear me. Gustavo, ¿qué onda, qué onda? Si me pueden escuchar. Alright, YouTube is telling me I have no sound, but... Okay, you guys can hear me, all right. Anyway, I got some airbrushes here. I got some my painting all set up. So I'm just going to start off with uh, the towel in here. And I'm going to mix up some gray here. I think I set it to about 25, 30 PSI, somewhere around there today. So, aquí tengo mi Pache Talon. So, voy a mezclar un poco de gris. So, I'm just going to take some reducer here. Voy a tomar un poco de reducidor. Right. And I want to mix up enough to do the whole painting, so I'm just going to fill it up almost... But like three quarters of the way, so voy a mezclar bastante para ya no tener que mezclar. So, lo voy a llenar como a tres cuartos. Uh, y luego le voy a echar gris. So, I'm just gonna maybe add what I would equate to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20 drops. Cool. So, 20 gotas de pintura, más o menos. Y luego vamos a poner nuestra... Oh, here. Before I close this, I'm also going to take a drop. So, también voy a tomar una gota de forest green. So, I'm just going to take a, a drop of forest green. I'm just going to drop that in there. So we give that a green, nice green tone. All right, so we're going to put that on there. And we're going to mix up a few colors just to go through today. So right now, like I said, I'm running about 30 PSI. Um, so we're going to go through a couple colors. I'm going to mix up this green, and hopefully that's enough green to do the whole painting. Uh, that's probably enough. And then I'm going to come back here with the revolution and I'm going to mix up some like a blue you know like a dark blue with some black you know and some blue and then I'm going to mix up some white actually maybe I might do that reverse I might mix up the black and the velocity and then the white in the revolution with some red so make like a really really light pink um, and that way we could get those highlights in there and that'll give this nice painting like some really cool colors and like some nice tones and shifts. So, yeah. So voy a mezclar el verde aquí con esto, ¿verdad? Y luego <coughs> vamos a empezar con esto. So I'm just going to switch the camera here. Y luego voy a hacer un negro con un poco de azul, ¿verdad? Y luego voy a mezclar en el otro aerógrafo, en el tercer aerógrafo, voy a mezclar un poco de blanco con un poco de rojo para hacer un rosita alto. Uh, y eso vamos a usar para hacer las tonas altas, para darle a este dibujo un, un efecto más 
um, ¿cómo se dice? Pues de coloreado, pues, ah, ya que se va a ver un poco más mejor. So, nomás voy a empezar aquí con la guitarra. Uh, I'm just going to start here with the guitar. And, yeah, if you guys have any other questions or whatever in the chat, I am paying attention. start shading everything and it'll become more apparent uh, yeah you guys can see that pretty good so if you have questions and whatever pues in the chat I'm here to talk if I'm seeing or I'm looking to see to answer what's up Air Todd how's it going So how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's healthy still. Good. Nobody's gotten sick or anything. And yeah. I hope everybody has enough food and whatnot. I hope you're not one of the people under lockdown. <laughs> The cutter is going to be pretty subtle here at first, and as we build it up, it should really start to uh, kind of become more apparent. Green. It's like a nice minty green it looks so far, and as I build it up, it really that gray really starts to come through. So, aquí mientras voy. Uh, Como se dice, haciendo las capas, pues, del color, uh, se empieza a ver más el verde, y luego ya entre más oscuro ya se ve más el gris. Y estos nomás son los tonos básicos, y luego ya de aquí ya le vamos a agregar las capas de, de otro color. It's also a good way to map it out. You know, if you, like some of my lines, I was... You know, I did this pretty quick. I wasn't super detailed on it. Getting this transfer is, you know, super precise. So, you know, right now is a good time to add maybe some of the stuff that we might have missed. This guitar has shadows on it. Bill, what's up? Yo, Bill is the newest member of the Skull Squad. Yo, what's up, Bill? How's it going? Coming in strong. And if you can't tell, this color is like super reduced. So even just trying to like 
build it up on there quick it'll get you know runny and stuff so you gotta kind of move around give it some air come back you know so este color está sobre reducido pues ah, te usamos mucho reducidor ah, so es muy fácil de hacer lo que se haga la superficie como mojosa pues como mojada so por eso me ven que hago para acá y para acá y le doy aire y le, es para darle tiempo a que se vaya secando But as we move around we'll start being able to build stuff up Yo, and I honestly did not expect him to win. I kind of thought Tupac was just going to take it <laughs> by a landslide. Uh, ese marco en donde está pintando qué materiales se llama un lienzo. Leandro Silva, ¿qué onda, qué onda? Mark Hamilton, how's it going, how's it going? Le Leandro, ¿qué onda? So you guys can see the tones are starting to come together. We're slowly but surely kind of shading that in. We're just working our way around. There's a lot of light tones on this picture. It's not like I could just make something dark that's not dark. So that's why I over reduced it, made a really nice light color out of it. So that we could come in here. I like doing realistic or uh, I don't know. I I just like painting. But yeah, when it comes to painting stuff like this, I find it like a challenge and also kind of fun to paint something as realistic as possible or give something a cool tone. So this one, 
we're using the interesting colors like I explained in the beginning um, so that'll just make it fun you know so yeah it's probably not as realistic but still we're shooting for all the shadows all the stuff in there trying to get it to look as cool as possible go get this guitar we're gonna get all this guitar in and then we can move around saludos Gil yeah I put up a poll seeing what people want to do and it was like Whitney Houston uh, Tupac uh, Stevie Ray Ron Stevie why do I always have trouble saying that Stevie Ray Vaughn I just need to slow down with myself. Um, and uh, Jimi Hendrix and Tupac. I don't know if I said that already. And Jimi Hendrix won, man. So here I am. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shane Bowles, how's it going? Yeah, right on. Thanks, man. Eze was pretty good. I had a lot of fun doing Eze.
five. So yeah, this <laughs> it has all the pickups for all the wires, you know, for the strings on the guitar. Um, so yeah, fun times airbrushing here. Most of that in there. You should just paint the guitar in the color like red. Nah, no, 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 no. We're, we're, we're sticking to the plan here. See, and I freehanded this part in there and I, I was way off of where I needed to be. I feel like just painting it red would be taking the cop out. And we ain't doing that. We're making this shit look dope. We're going for greatness here. tones in there even though I think most of this is going to end up being that other color. Um, and I guess 
guess we might as well finish up the guitar. Doing the shadow for the fingers. Let's see the shadows there. But the fingers themselves are going to be the other tone. And hopefully, to save time, I'm going to mix up all the colors now. I can do this, all this, and then we'll move to this metal section and do that, and then we can move up to the top. Um, and hopefully that'll make it just slightly more better on my back, for one, because I, I could hang out sitting down for a minute. And easier to follow so we don't have a really light painting the whole time. Draw it out or project it, which do you prefer? Well, like I've explained before, I have a pretty crappy projector. So I start off by projecting it, and then I'll sit here and kind of add some, some drawings around it. I wonder how many people get that feeling where <laughs> they just start feeling like a, uh, a recording. 
you're just always answering the same questions, you know? This is gonna be fun to paint right here, all this. Yeah, man, this crazy world right now. We seem to be doing okay so far. I hope everybody's doing the same. I mean, it's wild. It really is wild, like... Yikes, my guy. Yikes. That's a lot of strands. Alright, then we gotta get in here and decide about here.
Okay. Had to answer messages on the phone. So yeah, this is going to be a long stream. Maybe I'll split it up. I don't know. Just trying to get all these beads. Shoot, we might not even get to his face till tomorrow. All these beads. He has multiple rows of beads. Just do more portraits, they say. Just do hen Jimi Hendrix, they say. <laughs> yeah, you should never be afraid to use a projector. It's a pretty good tool. Um, and like... Shane says there, if you can do large pieces, it absolutely helps. Um, especially if you can do like large walls and stuff like that. Oh man, that thing is incredible. It'll, it'll save you so much time. Just like ridiculous amounts of time you can shave off. Um, but yeah, it's a nice tool. And... Using a projector, like a lot of people come in here and try to be like, oh, use a projector, uh, you know, it's, you didn't really draw it. And it's just like, uh, yeah, I use the projector to kind of, you know, trace it out on here. But then you, like, all this, <laughs> like, I still have to paint it, my guy. Like, you know, just because you use a projector doesn't mean it's going to just paint itself magically, you know. So it still requires a lot of skill, a lot of time to go in here and paint. And I've seen lots of people that use projectors and their end drawing will look nothing, I mean like nothing like the picture. And so, <laughs> using a projector doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> people use expensive projectors and do that and then I'll use a cheap projector like this <laughs> and be able to produce better results than, than somebody who traced out every single line you know and it's just like uh, I don't know you're only gonna get carried so far the rest some of it you're gonna have to do yourself get on that easy airbrush how's it going <laughs> yeah, you can use a projector to you can follow the lines, you can also learn how to shade as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you're only going to get carried so far by the projector. It's 
just like buying the most expensive airbrush too. It's like it's only gonna take you so far. Then you're gonna have to be good at using it. I think a lot of guys get frustrated because they want to produce amazing results right away and they just, that's not the way that works. Yeah, it's only a tool, man. All this talk of a projector, it's like you guys know that I ordered the projector for the video today. I can't tell you when the video is coming because nothing is going two-day shipping on Prime anymore, so we'll have to just wait for it to get here. As soon as it gets here, you know, I'll try to make the video. And yeah. So hopefully, it'll help some of you guys out. I mean, I know a lot of people already know about a projector and how to use it. It's not like it's a super secret. That fun part all in there, you know, that's in there. Nice. What did I order? You'll have to wait for the video. I'm not just going to be telling everybody right away. That's the whole point of this Skull Squad. Especially now that it's a month. It's like, shit, son, you can wait. You can wait. I already kind of fucked up with the velocity, you know, by letting people know I was using that, so... It's not as easy as it sounds. Yeah, delay everything a month. It's like, oh shit. Especially if I try to do like live streams. That means I would have to, like the next review, I have to actually do the review and everything offline. And then as well as I can't use that airbrush for a month. I would have to put it away and, uh, you know, let it gather dust for a month before I could bust it out and be like, here's the airbrush I just used in the review that just went live. For regular subscribers. So. Yeah. But. Speaking of that. If you ain't already a member. Go ahead and click that join button below. It gives you 30 day early access to. A lot of the videos. Or all my videos really. Uh, right now there's two videos on that list. And there's probably going to be another one here pretty soon. Plus the projector video that's coming. So you'll be way ahead of the game. Uh, and in the future, there's also going to be videos that are members only. Um, I thought about doing that with the projector video, but nah. I think once the channel grows more, then we can make it members only. So it's making it more worth it for members. I want to keep a lot of information as open as possible, but also, you know, you know boy, want, boy, want to get paid. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make some money, man. <laughs> 
Like, not gonna lie. Cool. I think we have most of this all laid in. <sighs> Get all this done. Cool. Get this back on here. And we'll let this paint, this airbrush simmer up on the hanger. Put this bad boy over there. Take our velocity here. What's up, Chris E? How's it going? So we're going to take the velocity and uh, make sure to clean all these before I start it. And I'm just going to take, again, some reducer and the velocity as a smaller cup. So we're only going to do maybe about halfway. And then we're going to do some black. I'll do one little squirt of black in there because we want it pretty dark. Then I am going to get some transparent deep blue. Like it's a dark color we're going after here. I'm just going to throw a couple a little squirt in there, a couple drops. Smaller squirt than the black for sure. Let me put the lid back on. We're going to shake this all up. Ah, uh, yeah. So again, just shaking it all up. And we'll get started here on all these dark tones. And again, starting here with this whole mechanism of the guitar here. I'm just going to start. What happens when I run out of space, huh? I'm already out of space, my guy. We just kind of start putting them on the side. Um, usually around this time is when customers would come in and, you know, they're trying to get their bike or their vehicle painted and then they see something on the wall they like, they try to buy it. And that's usually how I get rid of some of them. But right now, with everything going on, um, yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do.
think I am going to have to split this up in a couple days. Uh, you just don't have the space, yeah. I've always, I've always, always airbrushed from home. I've always made space for it. And even when I lived in downtown Denver, like I remember I had a whole space in my bedroom and I wasn't allowed to have a compressor in the apartment building, right? Cause it was super loud. So what I did is I ran a hose from my window on the third story down to the, <laughs> down to the car. And I would hook it up that way uh, when I wanted to paint. Oh, that, that doesn't match up at all. What did I do? farther without moving the camera there so just leave that there let's move over here trying to keep you guys centered on what I'm doing another little shake yeah you guys can't see what I'm doing there you go try to answer messages here
Cool, got that. There's the line coming here. Another line coming this way. Oh man, there's so much going on in this painting. Sounds easy enough, but I'm I'm dreading these beads. These beads are just not. It was all good till I got to these beads and realized I had to paint the beads. Then I was like, oh shit, the beads. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> They make fun of practicing on paper towels. I mean, that sounded like me when I first started. So don't let that discourage you for sure. How does that one thing go? It's like they may laugh at your at your dedication, right? But then they will marvel at your achievements. <laughs> Make fun of them for practicing on expensive shit. Yeah, exactly, dude. And 88, her 88, hate it, hater 88. Uh, know that YouTube, the, the chat bot thing, will automatically flag any messages with cuss words in it, so...
I'm almost done with the guitar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm almost done. I'm just kind of moving around, man. I'm trying to get this. See, once I get this hand done here, then I can move that way and so on and so forth. But this part over here is going to take me a while. Oh. <laughs> Do a portrait, they said. Do a Jimi Hendrix, they said. Then that person that was probably asking for portraits yesterday, probably already unsubscribed. It's probably no longer part of the channel. They're not even watching this. And here we are. <laughs> here we are. This whole area, like his whole hand here is kind of blurred out in the picture, so I'm just trying to match the picture, right? I know how to draw fingers, so I'm not... I'm just trying to match the picture, really, because that's what's going to give the overall painting a better look. Is if stuff, stuff is blurry and stuff, stuff is really sharp, otherwise it just looks unnatural. When you look at it, it kind of looks fine. That's just something I've learned. So always draw what you see, not what you know. So I'm just kind of going through, building it up. I know it doesn't make sense when you look at it so close, you know. But when you look at it from far away... You know, it's like, oh, there it is. It's finger. <laughs> oh, what up, Justice? How's it going? Yo, yo, yo. Air Todd. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. You guys are showing up at the skulls today. Yo, so if you want to get one of those cool skulls, make sure you hit that join button below. Check it out. And you guys can be part of the skull squad. It helps bring more videos like this for you guys especially in times like this where it's not really certain how much money I'm gonna be making in the coming months if this all continues but if y'all want to sit at home and, and learn there's probably not a better time to to become part of the skull squad because that'll let me divert some more time onto the YouTube channel which will mean more videos for you guys and yeah, as always, uh, I thank you guys always just for watching. Um, you don't have to join, but if you want to join, you want more videos, if you feel my videos are worth it, 
you know, it actually doesn't cost that very much. So, like I said, it helps bring you guys more videos. And the live streams are probably not super instructional, right? I don't always do like how to airbrush live streams. Um, even I do do those. Uh, <clears throat> but not every video is like that. But the videos, the ones that I actually put together and edit, that take more time. Uh, yeah, those, those are worth watching for sure. And you get 30 days early access with one of the plans. So yeah, hopefully that's something that interests you guys. You have the power. <laughs> Air time with the school. <laughs> you know, at least Todd tries to keep me entertained in the chat, man. It's never a dull day with Todd around. Here we go. We're getting close, man. The guitar's looking pretty good, man. I learned by seeing more than anything else. I've been watching the old streams a lot. Love them. Yeah, that that's that's usually the feedback I get from people who like watching. I like having your videos in the back because it helps me understand. So I'm just glad to help all you guys and you guys like watching them. Yeah, I'm the same way. I think if YouTube would have been around when I was learning, I probably would have been you guys, one of you guys in the chat right there. I'd have been like 13, 14 going, hey, hey I love this guy. This guy's amazing. Oh, yeah. You know. That's how it was with the magazines, man. I was, my nose pressed up against those 
magazines. Need to have airbrush skull party. Like to see that air out skulls. Airbrush skull party. Is it, are you trying to tell me to turn the chat into subscriber only chat right now? Because I could do that, bro. Then only Justice and Air Todd and Bill would be chilling in the chat. You know, I didn't want to do that to everybody just yet. than I wanted it to be, but it's fine. It'll be fine. And draw a guitar, they said. It'll be cool, they said. Do not tremble at the sides paint. Don Johnson to get in the next issue of the Airbrush magazine. Is that that new magazine? I don't know who Don Johnson is. My computer feed it so off.
You're just doing the hand right now on my computer. That's how. Oh, offset. Yeah, it's probably delayed. I wonder if it'll get better if you hit refresh. That's kind of my suspicion for everybody is that everybody's kind of on a different, at a different speed, per se. So some people are watching it like pretty close to real time. And then some people are, are watching it pretty delayed. And I would like to say that it depends on where you're living at, but <laughs> I think that has nothing to do with it. I think it just really depends on where your computer wants to pick up. So. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that that that's a sweet looking handle right there. <laughs> Don Johnson from Miami Vice. What? <laughs> Is that really the guy's name from Miami Vice? That'd be too much. Let's see, that's actually where we're at.
<laughs> right on. We'll see you later, Bobby. Have a good one. Dang, it's looking good. Ah, what? Somebody just... <laughs> Jimi Hendrix with a CK, huh? I like it. <laughs> uh, how much stuff have you painted for the daughter? Uh, not a, Not too, too much. I'm kind of waiting for her to be able to start asking for stuff. Because I know that's coming. And yeah, I don't want to be burnt out with painting her stuff. I also don't want to force ideas on her. Like, I don't know, man. Having a kids is this crazy thing where you, you don't want to, you know... You don't want to corrupt it as, like, you know, try to keep it as pure as possible. That's kind of what I'm doing with her, is I'm just trying to wait till she has her own ideas. If that makes any sense.
<laughs> you got a D in spelling. <laughs> Wait until she might want to airbrush. Yeah, exactly. So that's a whole nother thing. That all in there. Oh my gosh, I, I'm I'm trying to avoid the the beads as much as possible. Yeah, this might be a two-parter for sure. Oh, man, Chris, you're going to have to rewatch the video, my guy. It's starting to sound like a broken record around here.
see how long have we been going. Okay, it's almost been two hours. Shh, this might be a three-parter, my guy. We might just have to do every day. These beads are no joke. I'm like literally just, those beads are haunting my thoughts right now. You know, and I picked this picture specifically because I was like, oh, that one's kind of easy. It has a lot of neutral tones. I could do that thing with the green. Like, I don't know if you guys can't really tell on the stream, but there's a nice green minty tone on the on the light shades. And then there's this nice, like, blue hue on the dark. Um, and once I get started on the light colors, which I haven't even got to that yet on this part, you know, then... That's going to even increase the, like, look or the effect of the colors. But, yeah, that might be... I might just have to do the white on this today and then come back tomorrow and we can freaking keep going. I'm going to go as long as I can today. It's so easy to just say, I should go as long as I can. And just fucking do it now. <laughs> He's using Createx. <laughs> Ayrton's getting ahead of you, man. He, he knows what the next question is. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, but honestly, this may be a, a three-parter. I hope you guys were okay with that. Did somebody really put a video, a Jimi Hendrix airbrush video? Is it an airbrush video? Because that, that's just like a hella. Is it good? Is it a good video? Who knows? Maybe if it's like something that takes time, he could have already had that in the works. And it could just be a coincidence. It's like something that takes time. I can't even. I can't even. I don't believe it. I don't believe somebody's out there just seen my poll and was like, oh yeah, he's going to do a Jimi Hendrix? We're going to do a Jimi Hendrix. I don't believe I'm that popular, so I don't. Yo, you guys want to know something funny is I go into the the local paint store, right? There's there's two of them. Like, that sell, like, automotive-style paint, you know? I go in there today, and I take them one of my Harley tanks, you know, if there's a display. And it's kind of one of the ones that's been sitting here for a while, and it's just like, yeah, I had told them I was going to take them a tank a while ago, and I never did. I just kind of forgot. And I needed to go get mixing cups today. And these guys have no idea who I am. Like, they don't know the extent of my skills, is what I should say. So when I walk in today, they kind of looked at it, looked at me, and they're like, you did this? Like, yeah, my guy, I, like, what? <laughs> you know, that's the same thing at the other place, too. When I took in displays at the other place... Um, it was the same, same kind of reaction. Like, you did this by yourself? Like, yeah, what do you mean by myself? What is that supposed to mean? Yeah, it's 
like, what? And I was trying to explain to the guy that today, I took him to tank, that it's a tank that I did way back in 2011. And it's a display that we've had, you know, going for a while. But, you know, we have other displays now, so we don't really use that one. As well as I have other tanks that I can make displays on already. So I'm just kind of just, you know, spreading the work, I guess. And at the paint store, you know, it might lead to other work. And what are the dogs going nuts about? But, uh, yeah, they, they give me this look like, I don't know who the hell is this is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a biography, it's coincidence. Yeah. Yeah. He's using Colorado air. It's special, my guy. Yeah. He... <laughs> I love my members. My members understand me too much, too well. Justice knows. He knows I'm giggling inside right now, my guy. Like, <laughs> I just can't help it. This shit's funny. <laughs> like, I'm breathing heavy, just trying not to laugh. I mean, like, I'm just like, oh my god. No, you're good if you missed it. There'll be more. I, I was trying to leave it wrong longer, but I'm just. I'm sitting here bored, my guy. Like, it's not like I go many places as it is, right? So, then once you, you know, lock me down, then I'm really not going anywhere. So now I'm, I'm like going nuts, man. And, yeah, I have, like, you know, stuff that I'm working on in the garage and stuff, but paint only dries so fast, for one. You can't do all kinds of shit right away, cause, you know, especially on automotive paint. Paint has reactions and whatnot, but I'm just kind of going nuts being locked in here. That's why I'm streaming, man. It's like maybe it helps you guys out. Maybe you guys are bored at home too. I don't know. Video games are nice, but like, it only goes so far with me, man. I'll eventually get bored. second layer of blurred out skin texture just to make sure this is nice and defined as defined as it needs to be it's kind of like I said this part is kind of blurry he was probably moving the guitar when they took the picture so it makes sense that it would be a little bit blurry I'm honestly this this picture is so high resolution that I'm I'm surprised because this was like a picture from way back in the day and it just shows how far film can go. What's up, David Dillard? How's it going? How's it going? The taco shop has the mixing cups. <laughs> Those little ones for the salsa, I assume. I know what cups you're after. <laughs> I thought about making a video on just how to like mix up colors. Like if you're limited on what colors you have and you want to know how to like mix up certain shades. You know, if you only have like yellow, green and blue and white and blacks. Like the basic Createx kit, you know, it comes with those colors. But you could literally make almost every single color with those. Red, red, yellow, and blue. You 
can make almost everything out of there. Or you, you can, if you try hard enough, you can make every color. <laughs> it might be an all day or yeah this is going to take me a second but it's looking good so far so I'm not I'm not really worried about it like I said this gives me something to do man Alrighty, got all that in there, and I guess there's nothing to it but to do it when it comes to these beads, man. See, look at that. Look at that. that looks pretty good. All right, so yeah, there ain't nothing to it but to do it on these beads, man. So y'all, y'all better have some jokes or something for me right now, cause I really am not looking forward to these. Anyway, here we go. What is the longest time I've spent on a shirt? Oh, man. I don't know. 
once when I was working, when I had my shop in the Westminster Mall, some guy paid me $150 to paint on a sweatshirt. So it's not really a shirt shirt, but a sweatshirt. And I don't know if you guys remember those little homies characters. The, the, we used to get them out of the vending machines. I think he still can, I don't know. But he had a bunch of those. He had like this crazy poster. And he had a bunch of those in his hands. And he was like, I want a bunch of these just painted all over the sweatshirt. And so I remember I was like, yeah, you know, I don't have anything to do today. It was like a Wednesday. And I was like, I'll, I'll do it like all over the sweatshirt, you know, but it would cost you like 150 bucks. And I was throwing out that number thinking it would just like, you know, oh, he'd be like, oh, that's a little more than I was thinking, blah, 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 you know, and he'd walk off and, you know, but then he was like, yeah, sounds good. Like, oh, okay, cool. Uh, he's like, how long do you think it'll take you? And I was like, I don't know, to be honest with you. I was like, leave me your number and I'll call you when it's finished. <laughs> And yeah, then I sat there and proceeded to paint. And I remember from open to close, it was a pretty slow day. I didn't have anything most of the day. And I worked on that stupid sh sweatshirt. And right before I closed, um, he walked in and he's like, hey man, how's the sweater coming? And I was sitting on the press, pressing it. So... <laughs> That that took me quite a while, my guy. I was like, oof, like a long, long time. Really nice paint shop, Mike. M I M A I K. What is that, dude? That was probably the longest I've ever spent on a shirt. And you know, we covered his whole entire sh sweatshirt. He had a, one of those white, um, like champion sweatshirts, like those starter ones. It was like a really nice thick one. And yeah, he walked out of there that day. He was so happy. And my my finger was exhausted, but I remember I was like so excited about the hundred and fifty dollars sale, and you know it all happened so fast. Now who knows where that shirt is? Who knows where that guy is? That mall doesn't exist anymore, and here I am painting this instead. Yeah, it had to be at least probably like 10 hours on that sweatshirt. Because he was there right when I opened. So, yeah. Then I spent all day. And in the last hour, you know, he showed up and I was pressing it. <laughs> so, it was... It was a fun day of praying the homies. Now, this part of the picture, I could tell that there's strands and there's beads, but the light that's shining through is so strong that, you know, it's kind of all mumble jumble. So that's kind of what I'm just trying to do. I'm just trying to get the idea of strands and bleed, beads. I was going to say bleeds. 
uh, in there, you know, and then I'll let the eye do the rest, you know, let the eye fool you into believing whatever it wants to believe is there. Just probably the play, that's the play right there. Especially because of the size of the painting and how far it'll sit from where actually anybody will see it. Like, nobody's going to ever be up that close to it. So if you've ever heard that term, sitting too close to the elephant, yeah. I think that's a lot of the problem sometimes is when you're airbrushing too is you're sitting really close to what you're painting. And so it's easy to want to make everything super detailed, you know, but you got to remember that some stuff is kind of just like blurred, maybe not as detailed as, as you believe it is. See what I'm saying? Like, this is just like little bleeds, but it's going to take me a while. Color mixing wheel. Thank you, Justice. Thank you. What do you mean by color mixing wheel, though? Oh, you're talking about when I was talking about the colors. Dang. That... That much of a delay? Or did I just take too long to look over? It's hard to tell how much time is passing when I'm having my head down. When I'm spraying. Those Renegade airbrushes are dope, huh, Mike? Um, yeah, I like this. I can't speak for all of them, so I can't be like, yeah, you know, all of them. But this one in particular is real nice. I have no complaints over this. Like, this, this airbrush is nice. So, Speaking of which, my review for this airbrush... Uh, just went live for channel members, so if you want to become a member of the channel, uh, there's a join button down below you can click on, you can check it out. Maybe you think this channel is worth you know, supporting and becoming a member. 
helps bring you, me bring you more videos so that you guys can stay ahead of the game when it comes to airbrushing and you guys can stay on the tip top the best. Uh, this includes airbrush reviews and paintings and how to's and you know complete exp explanations on stuff. Uh, especially uh, or other stuff that's coming in the future too so it all helps the channel bring you more videos so if you enjoy the videos like this and as well as the how to airbrush videos it helps and right now members have access to how to airbrush a bike as well as the review for this airbrush right here and I'll be getting another video here in the coming days. And those videos are time locked for members only um, for 30 days. And after 30 days, they go live to regular subs. If you're just subscribed to the channel, you know, regularly. So, as always, thank you guys all for watching. Just watching helps, as always. And you don't have to become a member. Oh, look at that. Oh, we made it through the first layer of beads. Oh, my gosh. Alrighty. Oh man. Okay, now let's mix up this last tone. Right, so I'm gonna mix up basically a pink. I'm gonna get some whites here and I I want a revolution airbrush. I'm also gonna stand up and stretch for a little bit. Oh man. Ugh, we haven't even made it to where this look at that. 
So I'm going to take some reducer here. And I'm going to do about half for reducer. Get the white. Do pretty good squirt white because we want that to be pretty bright. And you guys are probably like, what is he going to do? Highlights? Yes, I'm doing highlights on this one. And we're just going to do a s one, two, three, four, maybe five drops. All right. Then we can put this lid back on. Then we're going to shake it up. Oh, man, I got to stretch. And we'll probably have to do a live stream early tomorrow. I might just leave this paint in the pot. Huh? Oh, and then tomorrow we could come back and do some work in the morning on it while the paint's still good in the pot, and then we could clean these out and then continue on it on the next day, mix up a fresh pot of colors. Hopefully there won't be a next day. Hopefully tomorrow we can continue and we can get this top part of the painting done. There's not as many beads, and <clears throat> it's pretty straightforward from there. Yeah, if you become a part of the Skull Squad, I'll hate you the same. Don't worry. I'm still going to be an asshole. It's not going to change anything. Yeah, we got a nice bright pink. So, uh, go back and sit down. And we're going to go ahead and add the white tones. Now this is going to be weird at first because it's probably going to go against everything you think, but it is going to give it that really cool look. I added too much red, but it's fine. This will turn on to our own little personal project on the channel here. I'll make sure to go change the name of it to part one. I'm not sure. I think I already got all your notifications. I've watched your videos for a couple of years, but I'll definitely make sure I'm a member right on. Yeah, mixing primary colors when you were talking about mixing colors, correct. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah.
so you kind of get the effect here on the hand uh, the quickest how we're using that pink to build up the highlights where the highlights would be but instead of highlights it's going to be a pink tone What? Right on. My coffin? Oh yeah, it's that cr it's that Rona man on the coffin.
in this, so I can I can get in there. Alrighty. Cool. So, I think we're at a good stopping point for today. Uh, two and a half hours, not bad. We'll come back tomorrow. Continue it up. I know it looks a little weird with the pink, but it's all right. We're going to, once it's all in there, you guys can kind of see that green and that blue. But as we, you know, finish up that pink, it's really going to start kind of getting a different, a different look to it, especially when we get more skin, because skin is really what's going to bring it out. Maybe I'll come back in with some blue, and we'll do some blue kind of, to match in with the red there, the pink, um, and that'll actually kind of really set it off. But that'll be once we have it all done. That way I could just mix up one pot of blue and maybe the last stream will be just detailing it out all the blue and, and stuff, so. Uh, hey Mike from North and other side of the Rockies. Uh, what's up Rob? I'm not sure what you mean there. Oh, from the mountains, Rocky Mountains, cool. But yeah, as always, that, that'll be the end of part one. Uh, we'll come back tomorrow, part two, and we'll continue it up. Hopefully you guys like that. You know, we'll see you guys tomorrow.